Hi all, in this video we will be discussing about the international travel grants available for Indian PhD scholars and researchers. The very first travel grant is by Science Engineering and Research Board, it is also known as SERP and the travel scheme is called International Travel Scheme, ITS. It is available for PhD scholars, postdocs and other researchers, active researchers in India. What is covered under this travel grant is the to and fro economy airfare, registration fee up to 50,000 rupees, airport taxes and visa fees. It is 100% coverage of these mentioned items. It is available for attending on part, attending and presenting in international conferences, both oral presentations and poster presentations, then being part of seminars, workshops, trainings and summer schools. The application is entirely through online and for applying this travel grant, you need an accepted paper or accepted abstract. Uh, this travel grant the most important thing to be in be reminded is you should apply 60 to 90 days in advance that is when you go to the website you can see a date range in which the applications are invited and this range is usually in between 60 to 90 days and not more than 90 before 90 days also you should be shouldn't be applying and once you apply it you get it and you claim the travel grant then again in, in the same scheme can be applied only after three years there should maintain a gap of three years and for applying you don't need a research paper or a publication history it is not mandatory or not mentioned anywhere in the website but having a publication history or having at least one paper in a good journal will give you an edge over other applicants since this is one of the most competitive travel grants in india the next prestigious travel grant in India is by the Indian Council of Medical Research which is ICMR and it is exclusively for medical and biomedical scientists in India. This travel grant you should apply in advance that is 60 to 90 days and not before 90 days also and once you get the grant and you claim it then you are eligible to apply under the same scheme only after 3 years. Under this scheme you are able to attend and present in international conferences, seminars, symposia, workshops and a maximum grant is uh, 150,000 rupees. For this travel grant there is an age limit of 35 years and in this travel grant it covers the to and fro economy airfare, airport tax, visa fees and a registration fee which is only available for young scientists that is PhD and postdoc researchers. For being eligible, uh, you need to have a research paper in PubMed, SCI or SCIE indexed journals, at least one paper. The entire application process is through online and the, for applying uh, under the eligibility condition, you should also satisfy having an accepted paper or accepted abstract. Another prestigious travel grant is by the Council of Scientific and Industrial Research CSIR. It is available for PhD students, research associates, resident doctors, emeritus scientists and non-regular researchers who work in CSIR theme areas. This is to participate or present in conferences, seminars, symposia, workshop, short term schools, courses and training programs. A very important part is apply. this should be applied two months in advance and not more than four months. And once you get it and you claim it, you are eligible to apply only after three years. A very different aspect from the previous travel grants is that this is having an offline application process. That is, you should send the application form uh, to the CSIR office in Delhi and that should reach two months in advance. Also, for being eligible, you need a publication, at least one publication in referred journals like SI, SCI or SCIE or PubMed indexed journals and an accepted paper or accepted abstract is an added criteria for being eligible to apply under CSIR travel grant scheme. The next travel grant in India is by the Indian Council of Social Science Research. This is very different from the so far discussed ones because this is one of the most prestigious travel grants for the social science researchers and scholars in India. This is available for the faculties, PhD scholars and postdoctoral fellows and as well as independent scholars working in ICSSR theme areas which is a list of subject areas you can see in the ICSSR website. This is for the oral presentation at international conference that is it covers only for oral presentations for attending seminars workshops trainings and all this travel grant is not not applicable you need to have an accepted paper or abstract for being eligible 
and this travel grant has online as well as offline application and it has to be done three months in advance in the website you, you will get the application form you have to submit it or online and then take a printout of it and to send to the concerned icssr office which should reach there three months in advance along with the accepted abstract you should also send a full paper of that relevant work which is to be in english or english language uh, under this scheme you will get 100 percent financial assistance if you have uh, reservation or belong to the following areas like sc st disabled phd and pdf fellows without pay protection and the financial assistance will be up to 50 percent if you are a general category or if you don't if you don't belong to the mentioned categories and it covers the airfare visa fee travel insurance local conveyance maintenance cost and registration fee up to 200 dollar and for being eligible a publication history is not compulsory but being a very prestigious one and highly competitive having publication will be beneficial but for independent scholars having publication is compulsory for being eligible under this travel scheme Thank you for watching. This is just part 1 and there are so many more travel grants available in India and we will be covering them in part 2 and part 3. And if you find this useful, please do subscribe. And if you have any concerns or comments and suggestions, please do that in the comment section. Thank you.